Hey, espresso lovers, Mark here from Whole Latte Love. Today with a special expert guest, I've got our top three easy upgrades for better espresso, including how you can pull much better singles. Naked singles? Yeah, you can do that. Plus, I've got an end of shot expert technique tip for those of you with E61 groups. You're gonna wanna see that. And we'll have the Chiato E37Z Hero single dosing zero retention grinder in action. A lot to cover here, but if you want to go to the next level and make better espresso, I'm fairly certain you'll learn about some easy upgrades and a technique that's going to help get you there. So, my special guest is the 2008 Italian Cup tasting champion. Saro Dallaglio. Born and raised in Italy, he now lives in Seattle and he's a designer of the Barista Pro filter baskets and an executive coffee specialist with LF Group. The Barista Pro baskets are LF products made by IMS in Italy. Now, Saro designed Barista Pro baskets to produce an espresso with more flavor and roundness. He changed the whole dimension to reduce back pressure the layout of holes for a more even extraction with less channeling, and added a nanotechnology treatment for a cleaner basket. And here's a tip, you can identify made in Asia baskets by the circular grinding pattern. There's none of that in the Barista Pro baskets. Now, Barista Pro baskets are one easy upgrade. Second, we're gonna take a look at the IMS Nanotech E61 shower screen. Like the Nanotech treated baskets, it's a lot cleaner than stock shower screens and it distributes brew water evenly to the surface of the coffee. Just look at the difference between a stock screen and the IMS screen in this side by side. Our third upgrade are Cafe Work Group Gaskets. These silicone gaskets are more flexible than stock group gaskets, allowing you to always clock in to six o'clock for proper spacing between the coffee in your portafilter and your shower screen. So, three easy upgrades, baskets, gaskets, and a shower screen. So, let's learn more about those baskets. Now, most everyone is pulling double shots, and why? Well, because singles are very challenging to do well. So, let's start with Sauro pulling a really nice naked single. After that, He'll tell us what makes his Barista Pro baskets better. Then we'll talk shower screens and the IMS Nanotech shower screen for E61 groups. Now, if you are interested in any of these upgrades, you can use the link up here at any time to check them out and purchase. Here's Saro. So here we are. We pre... Um, we pre weigh the, the, the coffee, the, the bead <laughs> goes. <laughs> And uh, through the chute, help him out a little bit of. Uh, let me make sure that there is no no more coffee inside. And right now we're gonna level it with our and tamp it at the same time. It's a little bit too much. Here we are. And. Uh, Wow, look at this. Yeah, that's with that other shower screen. That's, yeah. Handle on 6 p.m. And we go. Oh, right in the middle. Nice color, steady. Um, where we're gonna get around probably uh, 18, 19, we're gonna drop the pressure. And let's finish it. Wow. Okay. So we have this uh, uh, single shot. As you can see, it's possible to make a, a nice uh, single shot uh, with a Barista Pro single basket. And uh, with this drink, uh, you actually, with this espresso, you actually can make a, a traditional uh, uh, cappuccino. The, the recipe is a six ounce cup one shot of espresso, and the rest is gonna be half foam, micro, micro foam, and half milk. So the way that the, the holes are actually uh, positioned in the, um, in, the, in the basket are to actually avoid uh, channeling, and uh, the size are really important to deliver the, 
the sweetness and the body in the in the basket. Mm -hmm. uh, if you can, if you see, this is a um, like a um, like a uh, basket that is being produced uh, in uh, Asia, mm -hmm. and so you can see that the the holes are really uh, closer to the um, to the holes. Uh, the sorry, edge. closer to the edge. Thank yeah. you, yeah. and they are much finer. Mm -hmm. So the combination of the two uh, delivers uh, um, um, actually um, coffee that is a little bit more uh, uh, flat mm -hmm. and you taste it more in the back. Mm -hmm. While this one is going to be much bolder right in front, in front of where the sweetening is mm -hmm. and it's going to go around your, uh, your palate, your mouth and it will be really pleasant. <laughs> and, and you know a little something about that, right? Because you've gotten a couple of uh, honors for. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a while, but I've been a, like a, I, I, I compete in the uh, cup tasting, and uh, it was a success. So in 2008 in Italy, mm -hmm. and uh, since then I actually applied that kind of taste to uh, improving, you know, the taste of my drinks. So to understand why something happens and uh, try to uh, deliver something like uh, the Barista Pro to okay. you. And now what else is different? Now a couple other things about that are different about your baskets, right? The nanotechnology? Yeah, the nanotechnology actually is a, a great uh, uh, improvement in, uh, um, in cleanness mm -hmm. um, uh, for both the basket and the, the cup. Mm -hmm. um, the oils normally get stuck you know, in, uh, in the basket and they start to right. um, uh, overheat through the process and you know, they bake. Mm -hmm. So the nanotechnology helps uh, avoiding this uh, problem. Can you tell that with that little color difference that I'm seeing there? Or what's yeah, that is the coating. The coating yeah. that has been uh, applied in a way that uh, is visible. Okay. Uh, and so applying it in a, in, um, in a specific quantity actually turns uh, with this uh, like a rainbow. Right. Um, so the, um, the basket uh, is going to get stay much cleaner uh, mm -hmm. as well with uh, um, uh, baristas that are not really paying much attention on uh, you know, cleaning every single time. Uh, it's going to help uh, for sure the, the quality of the shot. And then again, your baskets are all draw marked. Yes. Right on yeah, that. So are. let's talk, what, so, talk about the markings here. So the marking is uh, like, for example, this one is a D, like a double, 22, mm -hmm. uh, 661. So 20, sorry, 24. I'm starting getting blind. Yeah. <laughs> 24. So the 24 is the height, uh -huh. and uh, um, and as well the height means as well 18 grams. Okay. Basket. Uh, 661 are the holes, and uh, they are. Uh, uh, made uh, in Italy by MS mm -hmm. and uh, the Barista Pro logo. Beautiful. So the basket, the 18 grams, goes well with the single, as you as you saw before, as we we have seen, um, and uh, the actually the the, sc the screens and the colorful uh, um, gaskets uh -huh. that are actually make uh, the shot even more consistent when uh, the, the, the handle stays at uh, 6 p.m. Because that changes the height of your basket into the group. Yeah, basically. exactly. So yeah. closer to 8, uh, you have more uh, uh, grams or mm -hmm. more space. Mm -hmm. And closer to 4, you're going to have less space. So the coffee basically is going to get Push against pushed the, against the screen there. And, yep. uh, and get burned too. Yeah. Cool. Creating some problem as well on the screen itself. So. Guys, try to stay at 6 p.m. Stay at 6 o'clock. Okay. So this is the, the shower. Mm -hmm. Okay, as you can see, there is a frame behind, and in front there is a, a mesh. What that normally happens in uh, uh, that the, under pressure, the oils and some of the coffee is go, goes in between this and that one, and it is difficult to actually clean. We're gonna do. And this one here, as you can see, there is a, you probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see. Uh, the, mm, there is, is one piece, so it's integrated. So it will actually deliver the water more um, evenly through the surface of the screen. And so it would actually deliver 
a more even water on the on the coffee itself. Yeah, the double, 20 grams okay. with the Chiado Hero and zero retention. Jack here to level the coffee and uh, temp it as well at the same time. This motion, actually the blades are getting into the the coffee and the porta filter and uh, as magic. <laughs> I'm going to turn this flat. Off. Yes. Just for sound. Okay, and uh, nice shower. Mm -hmm. Put the feeder at six o'clock and uh, let's pull the shot. Ooh, the coffee comes out together, center and sides. See how the basket actually, this is one of the, the, uh, the good things of this basket that delivers the coffee right in the middle. And at 20, like before, we just drop it and close it. So we have the double, like two, two, two ounces before for the single we had one ounce mm -hmm. and the same kind of amount of time. Same timing. That's good. So baskets, gaskets and shower screens, three easy upgrades for better espresso. You know, I get asked about pulling singles all the time and my typical advice was always just do the doubles. But after seeing Sato's Barista Pro single baskets in action, I'm changing my advice to, if you've got a Barista Pro basket, go for it. Now, at the start of the video, I promised you an end of shot technique for E61 groups. Now, if you're watching closely, maybe you caught it when Saro was pulling shots. It's really easy. Notice on his shots, at about 18 to 20 seconds, he would partially lower the lever. This cuts the pump, but allows water to continue to flow as pressure ramps down. This technique helps avoid overextraction at the end of a shot and keeps things nice and juicy and sweet. If you've never tried that before, give it a go and let me know what you think down in the comments. Again, use the link up here if you are interested in the Barista Pro baskets, the IMS shower screen, and the Cafe Work gaskets. Three easy upgrades for better espresso, and they're all available now at Whole Latte Love. I'm Mark. Thanks for watching, and I hope you'll subscribe to our channel and come back soon for more of the best on everything coffee brought to you by Whole Latte Love. Want to learn more? Subscribe now so you'll know about the latest videos on everything coffee from Whole Latte Love.